Okay, for those viewers who like to know exactly where I went, well, this, this is it. This is our little ride right here. Not very big in comparison to Winnipeg. Okay, let's, let's move in on this here. We'll try and bring it, make it as big as possible here so we can get the detail. We're about to read the streets. Um, let's uh, get the satellite view. I believe that will be it. Yeah, we can still read the streets. Okay, right here where the little flag is, well, that, that's, that's my house. So we, we came out here and we turned to the right, went down Callum Crescent, onto Donwood Drive. I'll back out a little bit here. Now right here is a is Donwood Elementary School. So we had to slow down right here to 30 kilometers an hour. And it's it's easy to uh, to forget to do that, even though there's signs there. Okay, then we turned left on Rothesey and uh, went through another school zone. This is the Chief Pegwis Junior High. So we had to slow down for that. And then, I think it was about here, I was thinking and I was getting uh, raindrops on my visor. We're going down Springfield Road. So I went went out here, and right around here, if you, you as you were gonna see, I was gonna say if you remember, well you haven't seen the ride yet. Well, it was, it was starting to, the road was actually getting quite damp, you could see it. So I thought, I'd better turn around and get back. So I turned around here at the uh, traffic circle and came back. And, uh, yeah, this is this is where I went. And and back, and uh, by the time I got back, the, uh, the rain had stopped, and the, I believe the sun was uh, trying to come out. And I was thinking, gee, I could have stayed out a little longer. But, you know, it was, uh, as I keep saying, it was pretty iffy. So, uh, anyway, th this was the ride. Uh, as as I mentioned, in comparison to the size of the city, it wasn't wasn't very big. Um, not like uh, yesterday when I went to the hobby store, which is way down down here somewhere. Okay, uh, let's uh, actually do the ride. Okay, we're gonna take a chance on the weather. I'm just going to basically stick around, try not to get too far away. The sky is, once again, it's, it's iffy.
Okay. Well, I guess that was better than nothing, but kind of running into showers there, and although it wasn't, uh, you know, serious stuff. Now, now here I'm, I'm seeing my shadow here, and the sun is trying to come out. I don't know. We should maybe go back out again. Uh, which way is this stuff coming from? I don't know. It's the kind of it's the kind of weather that can all of a sudden surprise you. You know, you're you're out there and you think everything's okay, and but really it isn't. So uh, I, I think I better I better not take a chance here. I'm going to call her quits. Tomorrow's supposed to be better, I think. I should have left my uh, bike box open. I could have just driven right in. I wasn't thinking, I guess. This machine is just a little bit too heavy for me to to wheel in. Okay, well we tried. I suppose if it, you know, if it clears up, I can always go out again after my coffee visitor goes, that might be alright too. I will leave the door open just a little crack here. Let the cool air waft its way in. Yeah, crazy weather we're having this, this summer. Well, that's the way it goes. I'm expecting a delivery here, so I'm just going to check Nope, it didn't come. It's uh okay the radar is still up here. Just for the fun of it, let's have a little look at it again. Okay, here's, I'm, I'm right about right where my uh, pointer's pointing, that's where my house is. So there, there are showers, yeah there's showers all around, so I, I, I think we probably did the smart thing by, you know, calling it quits here. Okay, well thanks for riding with me folks, we'll do this again. <laughs>